Okay, so we're here with Roy McLean, he's a good friend of mine. He's over 50, would you believe it? So, Roy, tell, uh, tell the people how many shows you've done this year. I th cool, let me count. I think it's about five, five this year. Um, yeah, they've all been really good. Best, best um, one of the year was IBFA, Universe and Mr. Europe. Um, I won both their money overall. So yeah, we're doing really well this year and I'm happy to have this. This is the last one, to be honest with you, because I could do with the rest. So this is the last one. So we're hoping to qualify today for the finals. Yeah, for next year. Yeah. Okay. So what? Uh, so out the five, what are the competitions you've done? So you've done the IBFA. Any others? Yeah, I did um, Body Power. Um, come second there. Um, then I did um, the PCA Finals. Come second there. Um, I won the Kent Classic um, about four weeks ago. Um, and this is, I think, this is the last one. So that's how many I've done. I think. I think that's right. Okay, so how long have you been dieting for? How long has this been going on? Oh, God, since um, around about March. About March, yeah. I mean, it's been a few weeks in between, but um, not a lot of time, to be honest with you. I mean, you know it because this is my, my prep coach, so um, it's been quite tough, you know it yourself, but it's, it's been good. It's been good. And what's the, uh, the plans after the final show of the season for you? What are you planning to do? Have a rest, eat pizza? What's the plan? Yeah, well, I'm going to have a rest for a good couple of weeks and let my body get back to normal. I've got some problems with my elbows and my back, so I'm probably going to have a month just relaxing, doing um, functional training and some more mobility work. And then um, we're going to be talking about an off-season plan, okay. so we'll be doing that. Yeah. The time's ahead. So, so you've competed with three federations. Who have you enjoyed and who have you not enjoyed the most this year? So, to be honest, I've enjoyed everyone bar, apart from the UK BFF. Um, I'm not one to talk bad about people and, and to say, you know, just for the sake of it. Um, but when I did the UK BFF, I was approached by Bill Turney and he basically said to me that um, if I wanted to do the British finals, I had to pretty much say something derogatory about the PCA because he said We're, we don't like the PCA and if you want to compete with us, you can't you compete with them. And um, so that's the only reason I'm not doing the UK BFF because I won my class, I got my qualifier, and, and basically he said, you either do that and, and, and do the final, or you, you, you don't and you can't. So here I am, you know, I'm not gonna do that. I don't do that for anybody, and I wouldn't do that for, you know, just, that's not my way. So that's the way it is. Um, that's why I'm here today. I carry on, yeah. Okay, so what you're saying is you, you was told by the UKB5 to make something up about the PCA. Well, not, not make something up, but to say something derogatory about them. I mean, he didn't say it in so many words, but I knew what he meant. He said so that you could explain why you've come back to UKBFF because you didn't really like it there. But that's not the truth. You know, I've always enjoyed PCA. I think they look after you fabulously. Um, and all the other federations I really enjoyed. And it was nice to go back to UK BFF because I know some good friends there and they, were all loved, they really like, enjoyed seeing me back. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be back because I can't. It's as simple as that. And gutting. So today's the last competition and your plan was to do the UK BFF finals. Exactly that. Because, I mean, for me, the UK, the, the British final is, is a good win. It's a good trophy. And I had a good chance of winning it. Sure. So I know for everybody I talked to, they said, you know, your physique, you, you could really have a good shout. So that's why what get me going, and I was really gunning for it. But that was a kind of a kick in the teeth, and it, it lasted for a few weeks, that really yeah. sour feeling. And I don't normally feel like that, if I'm honest. But I let it go now. I know where I'm going to go, and, and that's it. I'm going to stay with the people I, I have a good time with. OK, and then to finish off, Roy, what words of wisdom would you have as a young-looking 50-year-old man to all these up-and-coming guys and girls that want to get into bodybuilding? I'd say be true to yourself, um, be consistent, um, small but reasonable goals um, if, you, if you don't know what you're doing then find help it was always a good thing I mean when I first started out there wasn't the internet there wasn't a lot of people around who could really help you um, so rather than getting bad form and starting doing things wrong start off right find a good prep coach or good trainers and start off the right way um, and that way you won't be going back before you go forward but you know eat clean and like I say, stay consistent because that's all I've done. I've just never stopped and, I, and I've always tried to look after myself and obviously um, rehab work. So chiropractor, physio, you know, when you train, you need to really keep yourself in good nick. So I see one every month and uh, it's, it's given me longevity and um, I'm still good now. So I'm, I'm really happy. So consistency is key. That's the secret. Absolutely. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Okay, so before you go, Roy, big flex, gun show. Look at them bad boys. All right, good luck. Good All luck right, today. nice one. Cheers, Neil.